Hi, my name is Bo Barber. Today we're here focusing on our maintenance guidelines as ECOR looks to support our friends and family as we reopen the sports, fitness, recreation, health and wellness spaces that are going to be taking care of all these people, all these bodies in motion that are going to be happening more and more as we start to come out of what is this closed environment and start to get back open for business. At ECOR, we break our maintenance guidelines into three basic categories. We've got general cleaning, and then we've got disinfecting, and then we've got what we call reorganization, or maybe looking at wayfinding in general. So today, we're gonna to be focused on breaking those three down for you. Our cleaning protocols are really broken down into what we consider our daily or routine cleaning. These are things that are happening every day with your janitorial staff. Then we also have what are deep, or potentially restorative cleaning. Deep and restorative cleaning typically is broken down into something that should be happening every six months. In some cases, if floors have been neglected for years, we push from a deep cleaning all the way to a restorative cleaning. And we're gonna be breaking those down for you today based on both the rubberized flooring that is common in all of your um, weight drop type areas, as well as for the resilient or hard surfaces that are common in most of the cardio and selectorized spaces. I wanted to take a second today to talk about kind of the basics of cleaning. At ECOR, it really is important with surfaces in your fitness facilities to walk through three distinguishing different steps. When we look at cleaning floors, the first one is what we call irrigation. It's important that you're adding the right types of chemistry to the floor and the right types of water to the floor and the right combinations to give you the effect that's needed. The second part of cleaning is what we call agitation. Agitation with different types of equipment is where we're starting to work that chemistry and that moisture into the floor to get the right type of effect. Whether it's as simple as a microfiber mop used in daily cleaning that's slightly agitating the floor to the more completely aggressive restorative cleaning where we're using a black pad, that type of agitation is critical, right? The last part of the process is extraction. In a lot of cases, people are using moisture, they're using cleaners, applying them to the floor, using different types of agitation, but forgetting to extract that material off the floor, getting all of the moisture that was used and the chemistry along with the dirt and getting that up off the floor. So again, the basic principles in cleaning are simple. You're gonna work through irrigation, agitation, and extraction. Today I wanted to take a second to break down the different chemistries that we have at ECOR that are available to you as you're looking at your maintenance guidelines and developing the types of protocols that you use in your facility. The first product that we have available um, through ECOR is our eCleaner. This is a product that's used in most of your daily cleaning as well as some of your deep and restorative type cleanings as well. Next we have our E-Strip. E-Strip is a high alkaline, much more aggressive cleaner that's used in your restorative cleaning to really take floors that have been damaged or neglected and bring them back to life. The last chemistry that we want to bring to you is a EPA approved uh, disinfectant called EnviroCare. At ECOR we are happy to be bringing this product to you, making it available um, and really promoting that disinfecting go beyond the equipment and the typical surfaces that you're working with and really looking at the floor as one of the most prominent surfaces in your space. We've made this disinfectant available and this is a great product as you guys look to get back to the new normal and bring guests back into your space. Thank you.